Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. We're going into Chapter 2 in the Maddening Mode. So at this point, still haven't played any Cindered Shadows. But, um, if I finish Chapter 2, that's Part where we're going to stop. We won't go beyond cars. Chapter 2 until Heart I finish Cindered mode. Shadows. Familiar scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. That statue is holding the uh, Sword of Saros. Cool, got ourselves um, a bit more money, which is good. We could use it to buy some more As you bows. have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. I'm going to be giving everybody bows. <laughs> Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. More bandits? Not very original, Teach. What, are you not interested, Claude? Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. He really is an incredibly likable person. Well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. You got it, Pops. It's nice having Gerald back. Um, absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome, Annie. Yeah, we're gonna have to start getting some, uh, tea. Hasn't been unlocked yet, but it'll probably be unlocked um, today, most likely. So let's go ahead and save onto a new line. And uh, we're just going to go in. A girl's voice. What could it mean? She's still not here. Let's see, is there anybody else? We didn't look at anybody else's appearance. Let's see. So we have house loungewear. I honestly think these look terrible. <laughs> oh, with an older version of them too. Interesting. You got a little taller. <laughs> okay, made uniform. Oh yeah, hers is different. Byleth had like a, a red line across the bottom and across the chest. 
Hers has kind of like a unique little color scheme, and I think the shoulders are different? No, maybe not. Shoulders are the same. Okay. So it's just the color. Servant's attire? Oh, older. Got it. Summer wear. I mean, everybody kind of looks good in that. They basically just took Petra's short skirt and put it on everybody. <laughs> Evening wear? That's not that far off from your academy, is it? It really isn't. Not for you, anyway. It's kind of nice, though. I think I will let you wear that. Okay. Classic. Custom. Is it going to be pink? Yeah, it is. That is a really good design. We'll save it for later since she's not... We haven't had her in the party yet. We'll, we'll, we'll have them look a little bit more natural at the beginning. We'll let them naturally fall into their uh, new looks. Okay. Nice, got some tea. That said, those bandits really didn't think things through, did they? They had to have known the knights would be after them the moment they entered the monastery's turf. Fine by me, though. I'm raring for some real combat experience. Any chance to grow is a good thing. Is there anything else you want to ask good me to teach? About living at the monastery or combat? Anything like that? Nope, I think I'm good. Now what are you two talking about? Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. I'm open to it. Daydu, just watching over his lord. It is better if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. Don't you worry, buddy. You're just fine. No judgment here. We love the people of Dusker in this household. Professor, and now that you're all the way over here, Professor, care to join me in some training? After training, I love tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. Hi, Professor. Yeah, join me Did you right need now. Something? I've actually got plans, so let's talk some other time. <laughs> so, Dex and flying. Um, I actually am going to be working on flying fairly early with Byleth. I think I'm going to take Byleth down a Pegasus route. So... Uh, Pegasus may be Wyvern, but most likely Pegasus. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. All right, Felix. For years. So let's see, you're going to be sword and I don't remember what the other is. Speed and sword. Yeah, that makes sense. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? Strength. I knew it. I disagree When with it's that. all said and done, muscle always comes out on top. I think skill is more important. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Oh dear, I remember what this is. Oh dear. Hey, Professor. No? You'll find out real soon if you don't know already. I think I remember whose it is. Where that rag came from. What do you got for me, Gerald? What's up, Professor. Pops? 
Hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I have a request. A real battle this month, huh? I hear even the Knights of Saros are involved. I never taught you much about tactics, but there's a primer on it in my room. Give it a read. Starting with this month's mission, you can now lead a battalion into battle. Search for the tactics primer in the captain's quarters and peruse it to get up to speed. Cool. Giving us a bunch of battalions. Oh, you know what? We have to start checking bedrooms now too, don't we? This is one of my least favorite things to do is check the bedrooms. Okay, not this month. They'll start opening soon, I think. Maybe next month. Deal. Hi, Anna. Hello there. Are you that new professor everyone's talking about? Name's Anna. I'm a merchant who slings wares all across Fodlin and beyond. I come in here all the time, so I'm sure our paths will cross more. Hopefully, much more. You know what I'm hearing right now? And tell me if this is true or not. The girl who's voicing Anna. Does she voice Nanako in Persona 4? When she's talking, I can hear a little bit of Nanako underneath there. Let me know if that's true. That would be awesome. But yeah, Anna is going to be recruitable in this route. Part of the DLC, so... Okay, yeah, none of these can open. Good. I'm okay with that for now. <laughs> oh, Professor. Hello. Truth is, my, um, uh, my undershirt got blown away by the wind. A and it's not important why. It only matters that it's pale blue. Oh. Yeah, um, I think I know where that is. I think somebody might be using it as a sweat rag. Thank you so much. Oh dear. I do find you very interesting, Professor. I'm just not sure if it's enough to change classes. Hmm. Charm and authority. What is it? I'm not doing anything. Well, it, it's not good to just do nothing. I've done this one the last two routes, so... I'm not bothering anybody! <laughs> Am I? Nah, you're good. You're okay, Bernie. Don't worry your precious little heart. Ah, Shamir. Hmm. How you doing, Shamir? Have we met? No. In another Sorry. lifetime. Must be my imagination. Oh yeah, because I remind her of her, uh, her partner back in the day. Who died. Oh, we don't have to check rooms. Because most of the time it's just primers that bring up uh, professor levels, and I don't need to do that. Um, professor? Our next mission is to go after a group of bandits. I'm not very confident. I'm afraid I'll just hold everyone else back. I should probably stay behind for this one. Or help plan the attack instead. No, Marianne. Marianne, you will go and you will do great. I believe in you. She does start with uh, healing magic, right? I didn't actually check. Yeah, heal and Nosferatu. You're going to be incredibly useful, girl. But don't worry, I won't put you in danger. Alright, can we go up there yet? Oh, hey, there's a blue exclamation. That's DLC stuff. So many items. No. Just all of the things. So, greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. Got it. Will do. 
I got a bit of bait. Found a couple. I think we will do some fishing today. Okay, found the market. Sometime during this playthrough, I'm gonna have to really go through what? and sell a bunch of battalions and stuff. Um, okay. We have way too many, and a bunch of them we really don't need. So, hold on, did I check for an item over here? Nope, nothing there, okay. So I think we're good there. So Oh, you're gonna teach me about the pets, the dogs and the cats, huh? I need your help. I've been sharing my food with the hungry pups and kitties, but there are a lot of them. Could you help me out? Interact with the dogs or cats and share some meat, fish, or produce. Once you've fed them a bit, you might get some kind of reward. Hmm, okay. Does it take up time? Feline and canine friends. Okay, gifts for dogs and cats. This is all new to the DLC. To feed the dogs and cats a Garrig Mock, select a food item from gifts. Um, the animals don't much care for food imbued with magic, but fish, produce, and meat are enjoyable for them. Okay. Fish, produce, and meat. Food imbued with magic? I don't even know what that means. If you give food to the dogs and cats, you may get something in return. The animals can get full, however. If that happens, find another animal to feed. Okay. It doesn't sound like it takes up time. Didn't say it does. It looks happy. Yay! Thanks! You're welcome. I wonder what we can get back from them. Whoa. Okay, you don't want a tomato. Makes sense. That's fair. <laughs> oh, we can't even go this way yet. So... What? It's Yuritsa. It's not even a good impression. <laughs> I apologize. Board. Care to duel? To the death? What? I just wanted to spar. Ah, oh, well, you're no fun. It's not fun unless there's a risk. You there! We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Trust me, we're better than you are. That was, that was mean. Damn, I apologize. I take that back. Hey, that was real that's rude. Right. Oh, Professor, how are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. Well, good luck. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. Hey, now that we've used you in main party, we know that you actually are incredibly effective. So, I believe you. Way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Yeah, there's a time and a place. Honestly, I like uh, I like savory over sweet any day, but sweets have their place. Oh, there you are. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? Too cold, actually. I have agreements. In Bridget, That's I am truth. able to be wearing much lighter clothes. She says that, wearing her little short skirt. So, uh, yeah. Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting. But you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. You got it, girl. Writing is an interesting one. I don't, I've never thought about putting Petra on a horse. I've got to find
find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. You are just How about you, Professor? so damn Do you sweet. Like sweet or spicy food? I like spicy. I think she wants to hear sweet, though. Ooh, same. I'll definitely remember that. Huh? Mm, I'm not sure. Magic and faith, okay. Those are ones I usually don't work on by Leth until a little bit later. But, yeah, we'll see. Um, who has... Oh, you have it. Okay. Would you kindly do something for me? Would you kindly? I'm fresh out of recipe ideas. Say, perhaps you could find some for me. Maybe a student or the library's cookbooks can spark some inspiration. Let me know, will you? Collect recipes for the head chef. The library has quite a few cookbooks with interesting recipes. You might even try your hand at cooking once you have permission to. You got it. All right, we'll look at this in a minute. Oh, actually, I need to check. Okay, no item there. But there's also sometimes one right here. So always got to check that. Right, right. Hey, what's up, asshole? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Please. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping <laughs> everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some night he is. I mean, it must have been pretty bad. Most guys I know, if there's a chance of doing the dirty, they would put up with a lot. So, um, Manuela, it must have been pretty bad. <laughs> I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town, but that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Yeah, I can see that. Well, if you're busy, then never mind, Hilda. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment there. You said that out loud. You do you do realize that, right? You realize you said that out loud? Oh, Hilda. I was thinking. Okay. What about Suddenly taking on bandits, huh? He's surrounded by three girls. Hey, you gonna join my house? Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the Academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? Let's see if uh, this recruit just works for him. Hey, Professor. Pretty great timing. I want to ask you something. I'd like to be in your class, <laughs> if that's possible. I've been thinking, maybe I ought to get serious about studying. Uh-huh, that's what you were thinking about. You weren't thinking about my, my lady bits? Wow, very decisive. I like it. I'll be there on time you and dog. in the front row and everything. You'll never have a better student. My first recruit! God, Sylvain. I was thinking, the Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Hilarious. Knights. We are the sword and shield of the Divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the Knights. I don't like being told what to do. In case any of you um, don't know why that happened, um, Sylvain, if you play female Byleth outside of the Blue Lion's house, he'll just join your house because you are an attractive woman. And he's a dog. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. What person? Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. All right, man. I'll leave you to it then. Well, I 
see. Thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? So, about the teachings of Saros. Believers live their lives by her sacred wisdom. Please use the library's vast resources to learn more. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. All right, sounds good, girl. We'll be talking more. What? Xanado, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble, those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. All right. Let's grab this quest item. Thanks for your help. You are welcome. All right, this is just telling us uh, about uh, battalions. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. Thank you. And bearing the unknown crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. That's some high praise, man. I can't believe it. I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan, I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. Oh, well, I mean, maybe you should visit them in person. Actually, no, he's gonna like this. You can learn so much from books. Well, I agree. They're brimming with the knowledge and experience of our ancestors. Okay. Cookbook. Lovely. Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? All right, we got all the cookbooks. Okay, we can head out to the cathedral now. So let's head that way. Professor. Hmm. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of prime minister in the empire. The empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Look, I've got my notebook. I am absolutely ready. Go, Ferdy. All right. I will list the six great noble families. There's Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. And an asshole. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. He's also an asshole. Finally, we have Duke Gert the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Iyer, the Prime Minister. Kind of gross. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. I look forward to that, Ferdinand. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Gosh. Never shuts up. I only kid. I like Ferdy. He didn't he didn't end up being very strong at the end of my routes, but as a character he's 
Really good guy. Really good guy. Here's an idea. I hear the Officers Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. It's kind of interesting. So an Almiran invasion is what caused uh, Rhea to create the academy. And pull all three countries kind of together. Um, I'm guessing that there was some kind of like church unification stuff that was already going on previous to that, but maybe the academy made it stronger. I have a favor to ask. I've been thinking about starting a choir and I need a volunteer who can help me get it off the ground. Can you help me find some students who love music? Find out which students are passionate about music. It seems there was a sign-up sheet being passed around the dormitory seeking students to join the choir. Except... It's nice seeing this place, you know, intact. The cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? That's right. Me too. Shall we pray together? Mercy, you're fantastic. There's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? Sure. Eh, I'm gonna say not exactly. I see. The truth is, I am not a particularly devoted believer either. But it would be unbecoming for a noble like me to neglect his prayers, wouldn't it? Eh, kind of a shitty reason. But you do you. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! <laughs> She's so excited. Professor? Now that you are a member of the church, oh, I wanted be sure to, answer. to familiarize yourself with it's our Sathleen. teachings and traditions. Keyhole with a close second. Um, I guess McQuill is the only one we don't know a ton about. I haven't I have met him. To ask of you. The Western Church, which rules over the western parts of Fodlan, has lately made some strange troop movements. If you hear anything concerning, be sure to let me know. Collect information on the Western Church and report to Sedith. You may find an informant among the students in the courtyard. God, we're snitching, man. Yeah. Let's see, are you McQuill? No, you're in debt. This is McQuill. Okay. Okay, no item in the well. Hmm. Got to talk to the students in the courtyard over here. Let's see. Okay. You're quite powerful to have beaten us in the mock battle. Thank you. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we were given. What were you given? I mean, we know you two are doing your own thing anyway, so... It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. You're a good kid. You're a good kid, Ash. I've missed you. Really have. I love me my blue lions, I really do. Okay, no items. No items back here. Bridget, Almira, Thesker, even people from far off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Yeah, that's 
unfortunately true. Okay, looks like we need to gather an item over here. And in the kitchen, I think, is where the other one was. Good deal. Right. You're a lifesaver. You're welcome. Now we're allowed to cook. The feature I don't take advantage of very often because it's not that incredibly useful. Um, okay, where else do I need to pick things up? Oh, nowhere. I just need to turn them in, looks like. Okay, let's go turn those in. My savior, thank you. You are welcome. Hmm. <laughs> so, inside the cathedral, Saint. Saint. Sa now that you. Well done. You have my thanks. Cool leather shield. That might be useful. All right, we've completed all of the dungeon stuff. Let's see. Do I have any seeds that I can plant? Root vegetables, fruit seeds, let's do some flowers. Yeah, we can do a lot more than we'd normally be able to do here. Um, because of our... Because of our class thing. We're gonna not be doing the giant infusions yet, though. We do not have the money for that at this point in the game. Maybe. Let's do whatever fishing we have. We don't have too many, so uh, I won't skip through this one. I'm also not going to be searching for the rare fish. I'm just going to go with the first one that bites. And this, like, fishing, if you guys have been watching me this long, you know that fishing is kind of something I don't like very much in this game. But it's kind of necessary for food and dinners and stuff. And it's also incredibly useful for getting your professor level up. So... It definitely has its place in the game. I just find it a grind to do it. So, I will be doing some fishing. Some of it on screen, some of it off screen. Most of it off screen. But I will be doing a fair number of fishing just for food, even though I've already done the professor levels. And also, I will probably take advantage of some of the... Uh, golden fish days, because that's a good money maker. A really good money maker. I do like this costume for Byleth. The student costume. And in case any of you are watching for the first time, getting perfects actually does net you um, better professor experience. So if you are going for professor experience in your own personal run, getting perfects actually does make a difference. You do get more experience for it. Um, we probably, since we can't do like tea and stuff yet or training, um, I don't know if we're going to get through our 10 events that we can do right now. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and try and get all of our main party's supports up. Mmm, delicious! Don't worry about finishing your portion. I'll gladly clean it up after you. 
Could you eat a little more quietly, please? Mm, your manners are disgraceful. <laughs> Quite fitting. <laughs> Quite fitting little interaction there. Okay, Lysithia and Marianne, sure. Just get these motivations Eating up. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. Okay, so she gets along with her father. She likes her father. That's good to know. Sometimes, uh... Sometimes they don't, you know? Claude and Leon. Every Claude support's gonna be a new support. That smell... Mm, it's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Who's left? Sylvain, Ignatz. Just Sylvain and Ignatz. Okay. Well, there's Ignatz. Where's Sylvain? All right, he doesn't hate it, so we're going to do it. This food is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. Oh, it's good to have you back, Sylvain. It's been many, many hours since we've had Sylvain on the team. So I guess the question is, is do I want to do just some other ones for uh, supports? Uh, Ingrid is probably going to be a recruit for us. I mean, we're going to be trying to recruit a lot of people, but... Um, hey, we can eat with Daydu? Interesting. I don't think he can be recruited, but... I forgot that you could eat with people like Daydu and stuff. Felix. Yes? Is that what we want to do? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Ingrid and Felix. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. That looks appetizing. I'm gonna go through my food so fast. So fast. I may actually want to be a little bit um, conservative. So, cooking together. Let's cook... Well, none of the people who have ups are even on the team right now. I don't remember what the benefits are. Um, to having the blue chevrons there. Let's cook with Claude. And we're gonna make... Well, let's see. Allies gain HP plus three. Luck plus two. Defense plus one. Let's go with the defense plus one for the rest of the month. We can't blaze ahead if we let the status quo confine us. Let's try coloring outside the lines. Only with food. Yeah. What, what Claude said. This combination of ingredients is creative, right? Now I just need to cut them to the proper sizes. Of course. All right. And we get support points with them. Looks like we uh, got some supports unlocked too. That's cool. All right, so we have four more events. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. Let's see, storehouse. Like, if we look, we don't have a lot of meat, we don't... Well, I mean, I mean, we have things. We definitely have things. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Ash and Anne. Because I do want to recruit delicious. Annie as well. Let's eat. This stuff. Did you know that? Yeah, we should do Hilda with somebody. So, this is a favor for her.
So let's see. Let's pick somebody she has a support with. Okay, Mercy. Ferdinand. Caspar. I could totally see Hilda and Caspar hooking up. I ain't shipping it yet. Gotta see them supports, but I could totally see it. Yummy! They would work well together, this? I think. I'll have to give my compliments to the chef. You're eating too slow, Professor. You just gotta stick all of it in your mouth. Okay, Mercy. And Ferdinand. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Well, the chart told me. As a noble, I try to ensure my manners are perfect. It's very useful. Here I can relax a bit, however. Yeah, we've seen their support all the way through. Okay, there isn't anything else I want to do, right? I could do choir. Let's do it. Let's do the choir. Hey! So, Marianne. I'm surprised she doesn't hate this. She seems like she'd be too shy. So, Marianne, and is there somebody else on my team that I would want to do this with? If Annie's going to be, well, I mean, since she's not on the team yet, it probably doesn't actually give her any experience in it. So maybe I should choose somebody who might actually feasibly have some faith magic at some point. I can't sing very loud. That's okay, girl. Singing with others is a nice change of pace. Usually I do it when I'm alone. All right. Let's watch some of our supports. This will be new. Is the water supposed to be this cold? God, my hand slipped again. What are they doing? Hey, what's that noise? What are you doing? Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Another one. Another fine mess I've gotten myself into. What happened, Claude? You're soaked. The student whose turn it was to do the dishes today was ill, so I volunteered to take his place. The dining hall lady was on my case the whole time for breaking plates and getting water everywhere. Actually, not everywhere, mostly on myself. It was just one big mess. It wore me right out, too. I could really use a nap about now. <laughs> you might be a noble with a fancy bloodline, but you sure don't act the part. Being noble or common doesn't have anything to do with washing dishes. Ho? Oh? I dare say most nobles would refuse to do it. But hey, I prefer it your way. You Me don't too. look like you're better than everyone. <laughs> I'm honored that you acknowledge my greatness. And I'm rather fond <laughs> of your blunt way of praising a person's strengths, too. Really? To be honest, I don't actually trust my own ability to read people. I like to look for the good in them, but that doesn't always mean it's really there. I mean, you seem like a good person, but your heart could be black for all I know. Damn, Leone. You say you can't figure people out, but what you said just now was pretty shrewd. It's wise not to trust appearances alone. And like, I think Claude's got some, uh, I mean, we've gotten enough clues over the, over the different playthroughs that, you know, he's, he's got some, uh, some black in there. I mean, he, he doesn't go anywhere near as dark as, uh, Dimitri or Edie do. I mean, that I know of anyways, but he's got his own demons. I'll keep that in mind. No, oh, I'm not sure I should be taking advice from someone covered in dish suds. Called <laughs> out. Oh, yeah, I see your point. Yeah, I, I'm gonna like this house. I'm, I'm gonna like these people, and I'm gonna like their interactions with each other. I just know it. I just, I just will. Um. Oh, Marianne, there you are. 
Lysithia? What's all this commotion? What's happening? There's been an accident at the training grounds. A spell gone amok. Come on, we need all the help we can get over there. Oh no, but I don't know how I... We could really use your help before things get out of hand. Come on, hurry! I... I don't think I would be much help. Oh, for the goddess's sake! You won't know unless you try, will you? Don't decide you're of no use without even giving it a shot. Fine then, forget it. I'll go oh. on my own. You can just stand here and stare at the wall. Oh, damn, Lysithia. I mean, I, I know, you can be you can be a little brash sometimes, but... Read the room. The poor girl is under a lot of distress here. I... Poor girl can't handle it, okay? I'm sorry. I can't do anything right. Oh, now I'm getting sad. Oh, perhaps I took it too far. Marianne, do you have a minute? Listen, I'm sorry about all the stuff I said earlier. The situation was urgent, and I'll admit I wasn't thinking clearly. I shouldn't have been so callous. I hurt your feelings, didn't I? No, it's fine. I'm the one to blame. Huh? But, hey, are you sure you're all... I'm the one who should apologize. All I did was get in your way. Oh, Marianne. You would have made it to the training grounds much sooner if I hadn't slowed you down. Huh? Wait a second. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. The accident was probably my fault too. Oh, there's something in that. She's really self-deprecating and she's really like stressed out. A lot of social anxiety it seems like and um, I'm gonna have to learn more about this accident. God, I feel bad for this girl already. You're being so... negative. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna have to learn more about that one over time. Okay, let's see... There's one of the... supports? So... Teach. Nice, this'll be new. How's it going, Claude? Hey, Teach. I see you're as stony-faced as usual. Hmm. I can't tell if you're feeling resigned or if you're just lost in thought. Or maybe you simply don't care about anything that's going on. Oh, sorry. Somewhere in those last mean two. to be rude. I just find you fascinating. Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Can you spare some time? Yeah, I think so. Sure. That's just the sort of attitude I'd expect from a new teacher. Speaking of... Before you came here, you were a mercenary, right? Always getting your hands dirty on the battlefield and whatnot. It's a bit unusual that you suddenly decided to become a teacher one day. In any case, I've been meaning to ask, did your father teach you how to fight? Yes, he did. I figured your father used to lead the knights, didn't he? And I hear he was a legendary mercenary as well. The Blade Breaker. It must have been hard on your mother when you followed in your father's footsteps and became a mercenary too. Well, I never knew my mother, actually. I see. I suppose you grew up moving from battlefield to battlefield with your father, then. You know, for someone who's right around the same age as me, you certainly have an unusual amount of composure. I guess it's only natural that you'd be different from young nobles who grew up in the lap of luxury. You don't seem like a noble either, Claude. What's your deal? <laughs> well, even so, I am heir to House Regan, the leading family of the Alliance. But I didn't exactly grow up in luxury, like most people of noble blood. Okay, okay. Hey, maybe that's why you and I get along so well. Folks like us should stick together. As house leader, I'll do all I can to help you out. We can start by making time for more little chats like this. Yeah, that's probably what makes him so likable to uh, nobles and commoners alike. In a way, you can relate with both. What do they all take me for? I'm fine. Perfectly and completely fine. It's hardly different from daytime. I'm not scared. Ah! Ghost! Uh, hang on. Professor? 
Is that you? Oh, well, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> what are you doing, Lysithia? And why are you acting so weird? Oh, I left something in the dining hall, so I'm on my way to fetch it. But you don't need to come with me or anything like that. I'm fine on my own, really. Well, I, I wasn't planning on it, but now that you mentioned it, it almost seems like maybe you do want me to? You weren't? Oh, apologies for making an assumption. The truth is, everyone I come across asks if I'd like some company. They all seem to think I'll be scared wandering alone at night. So rude and presumptuous, you know. I'm perfectly capable of being on my own. Of course. Good evening, then. I'll just act like I didn't hear you scream ghost at me. <laughs> hey, Professor, wait! I, um, well... Yes? I thought it might be nice to walk and talk together to the dining hall, shall we? To be abundantly clear, this has nothing to do with my non-existent fear of ghosts. Oh, I would have never have presumed. I'd be happy to. Oh, you must be bored. Fantastic, then. So bored. Do you mind, um, filling the void with some chatter? Some find silence to be a bit unsettling, after all. Some people. What would you have me say? Okay, I confess. I am scared of ghosts. There it is. The monastery is unnerving to me at night. So, can we talk about something, please? Anything. I've noticed for quite some time now, you treat all your students equally, don't you? You've never treated me differently simply because I'm younger than the others. And I've always appreciated that. You're younger? Isn't it rather obvious? I'm roughly two to three years younger than the rest of the class. Have you just not been paying close enough attention to those you teach? I just thought you were short. That's poor form for a professor. Oh, there! I found what I was looking for. Well, I better be on my way now. Good night. Strange girl, that one. Strange girl. Okay. So that's going to be it. So that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.